Use a distribution plot when you want to compare the range and distribution for groups of numerical data. In a distribution plot, data is plotted as value points along an axis to show how the data is distributed across your measure. The bounding box around the data points highlights the range of the data distribution. Use a distribution plot when comparing the range and distribution for groups of numerical data. A distribution plot provides a simple way to organize large amounts of data to visualize the range of the data and to see outliers. A distribution plot doesn't provide a detailed analysis of the data as it represents only a summary of the data distribution. A distribution plot requires one or two dimensions and one measure. A distribution plot with a single dimension shows a single line of data values. For example, our distribution plot has a dimension product category and a measure sales. If we add a second dimension quarter, then our distribution plot will show a line for each value of the quarter dimension. A distribution plot with two dimensions shows a line for each value of the other dimension. The values of the measure are plotted along the x-axis and their distribution determines the length of each line. The inner, or first dimension, defines the value points, and the outer, or second dimension, defines the groups on the dimension axis. A stretched box represents a high distribution of values, while a compressed box represents values with a low distribution. The distribution plot can be horizontal or vertical. You can change the way your distribution plot looks by changing the box color and the point color. Now that we have finished customizing our distribution plot, here is the result.